G'day everybody, it's me again. I'm doing a little bit of work on the mirror. Finally upgrading the ignition system which has given me the shits for some time. Um, I do have plans to put an uh, EJDE in here which is the one litre twin cam. But uh, that's not going to happen straight away but it will happen soon. Um, I'd like to you guys to note that inside of this manifold is absolutely spotless except for where I've spilled crap in there. Uh, same with the carburetor, it was absolutely spotless so then my uh, flat spotting problem doesn't appear to have been the carburetor. Um, well, can't 100% eliminate it yet. It still could be fuel system, but I don't think it's the carburetor. The carburetor is pretty clean. Uh, for those that are interested, there's a little intercooler. It's only very small, very very small. And there's the little carby plenum hat. Once again, it's quite spotless inside. I expected there to be a lot of fuel varnish and muck around, but there hasn't been. So quite lucky I think um, yeah I've upgraded the ignition system to an MSD blaster SS coil it's a big transformer type so a flyback type well they're all flybacks but you know what I'm saying um, that one's got the uh, potted coil with the uh, iron former this one's got everything built inside it's all all completely concealed still use the uh, ballast resistor um, but uh, that Blaster SS should definitely give a much bigger spark than the original. It's an MSD part, they're designed for high performance, so hopefully I can eliminate my high boost uh, misfiring problem as well. Um, it's only a baby motor, so there's no point in pushing it too far. That's why I want to get the uh, EJDE in here. It'll just be, well, it'll just make my, make, well, make my day and it'll make everything a lot easier. Going to EFI, everything more modern. And over here, I have the cardboard on my workbench. Once again, a little bit of muck inside, but not too much. Not too, nothing that I'd really be seriously worried about. Um, everything seems quite clean. There's no any cracks in the float or any, any any other discernible issues. There's still damage to these brackets from when. When I bought this motor, the car it came out of had been rear-ended by a large four-wheel drive, possibly a Land Cruiser. Um, and in that incident, the uh, engine actually hit the firewall. And you can still see some of the damage to that bracket there. That bracket should be straight, but it's, it's bent. Um, that's not what's affecting the operation though, that's just the choke. Uh, I'll show you the uh, size of the... Uh, that's it, what is it, 25mm, maybe 30mm butterfly. Once again, it's only a 550cc engine, so what do you expect anymore? See all the varnish and crap on the outside? I expected it to be like that on the inside, not the outside. Because the turbo is constantly pressurising the carburetor though, I think it keeps it rather clean. Anyway, that's about it for this video. When I get the little shit running again properly, I'll, uh, I'll post more, but uh, still being trouble. Thanks for watching.